What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. We have one story today and then we have a bunch of Q&As as well. With that said, let's jump into our story slash question that I have for you guys. As you know, the Galaxy Note line is maybe dead at this point, it might never come back, or it might. But regardless, it's a, it's a good question to ask and, and I, it, I got the idea from Ice Universe. Let's check out his tweet and then jump into the discussion. So first of all, his tweet says, if Samsung has decided to end the note, I suggest that Samsung publish an article on Samsung Newsroom, which is their website for their news articles, to inform consumers that the Galaxy Note has ended. In this case, a large number of loyal Note users will not have to wait any longer. This is also responsible for the users at hand. So what he's basically saying is, should Samsung go onto their website and put an editorial about the Galaxy Note phone being dead, that it's been discontinued, that it's no longer going to be made and it's been replaced by phones that still have S Pen supports such as the S21 Ultra and the Z Fold 3 and whatever other phones they come out with in the future. Do you think Samsung should do this? It's a very, very valid question. I think when we go through all the answers, I think one, most companies I feel like unless I'm just completely dis you know, not remembering, I feel like most companies would just let this fade off into the wind and not say anything. Like, it would just be like, ah, whatever happened on the Note? And, you know, it hasn't been out in three years. The company never said anything about it. Some companies might, but I think Samsung's, I don't know. I don't know if they're one of those companies that would just put a piece that said goodbye to the Note so that everybody has a clear cut answer. And we know rather than saying, oh, we now have these other phones. Like they've said it kind of in the past, like, oh, the Note's not coming out this year, but we have some other phones that do have S Pen support, rather than just saying the phone is never coming back most likely, but we do have these phones. And I think it's a good question, should they actually say it? And I think for me to answer that question, I think if it was my company, if I was Samsung, I would, I would say this phone is dead. This phone's never coming back maybe, <laughs> but I would say never coming back. It, we have these other phones that will replace it. And maybe they're waiting for a phone that actually has the full capable functionalities that the S Pen for the Note has. And I know, I know they have the S Pen Pro that's coming out that will have all these features, but it's huge and it's not really fitting into phones like the Note does. So I'm guessing that's what maybe Samsung's doing is they're waiting for a phone that does have full S Pen functionality, AKA Bluetooth, built into it. The other piece of the puzzle is, how many people actually care that the Note is dead or will even go searching for it? I would guess the larger number of people, 80 to 90%, maybe more, don't even know that there is not an, a Note this phone this year or even care if there's a Note phone this year. I think people just buy a phone because they buy a phone, like they buy a Samsung phone and they'll buy any Samsung phone. It doesn't have to be a Note phone, it could be an S phone or a whatever phone that they have. So I think the greater majority of people wouldn't even realize or care. I think the obviously the people that watch my videos or go onto YouTube to watch how to's or reviews on phones on the regular are the people that care, but I think that's a much lower minority of people versus the majority of people that would really not care. So I think that's another reason why Samsung probably won't go out of their way to actually say that it's completely dead and they'll kind of just leave it up to mystery. But the question to you guys is, what do you think? Should Samsung put an editorial up on their website that says that the Galaxy Note phone is completely dead, if it's dead, or what? And I know there's a good chance it might still come out still, especially this coming year. Um, but yeah, it's a good question to ask. With that said, guys, let's get into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that First question comes from Frederick209 says, how do you get YouTube shorts on the Galaxy Z Fold 3? I have to admit, I don't really watch YouTube shorts on YouTube um, or anywhere else really for that matter. I would assume we'd go to the bottom here of it and where it says explore, tap that. And let's see if shorts show up in here. I don't see them. I never look for them. I think, don't they just show up in your feed anyway? Well, what about if you short uh, search for them? Shorts, let's see. Yeah, looks like they come up that way. If we just search YouTube shorts at the top under the search, 
they come up there. Yeah, you can go that way. But instead of like just browsing around, eh, I don't really see a place. It's funny. You're right. That's a good point. Like there should be, they should be under explore. I don't see them just floating around, but I never watch them. So, but you can, if you just search for them, they will show up. Paul Lopez says, why don't you like leather cases? They feel too business like for me. Like I, I'm, even though I run my own business, this YouTube thing, I don't consider myself like a businessman. Like I'm not like, I don't have a suit and tie. I'm not the traditional. And I don't, a lot of YouTubers aren't, but for me, it's, it feels too business. Like that's really the reason I don't like them. Tech Levin Mama says, if you have Samsung Care Plus, is it covered? Also, my front screen protector keeps lifting in one area with the case. I wasn't trying to or want to uh, remove it for a while. Now this, I don't want to void my warranty, at least not at the moment. That's a great question. So I think if you have, and it goes without saying, it's, if, it, if, you're, if you break your screen and you have Samsung Care Plus, regardless if it voids the warranty or not, you're gonna be covered. Uh, being able to play a very, very low deductible if you have to pay anything. Um, it, and same thing happened to me. One of my cases, I, I pulled up the screen protector on the front display, so I no longer have it there anyway. It just means like while you're taking it off, if you like dug your fingers in and it like scratched the screen or like completely broke the screen, that's what they mean by avoiding the warranty if you remove the screen protector. Um, most people aren't gonna have to do that in I wouldn't worry about it. Ari Fleischman says, what are your thoughts on using a case with or with hinge protection? Do you think it's not too important? I notice you only use cases without hinge protection. Most of my cases are previous traditional phones have been when I wasn't using the phone. I would think it's important uh, as of all drops would be when the case is closed. Um, Yeah, most of them aren't. When you close it, obviously it's protected, but when it's not, it isn't. But the thing is when I'm using my phone, it's protected because I usually have, I would say like over 90, 95, 97% of the time I'm using my phone, it's open like this. So it's basically as protected as it's going to be because of the case. And when I drop, I don't drop it like this, but I can see why you might be worried about that. Um, I don't know. I don't, to me, it's not a big deal, but I can see why you might want a case like that. I'm just not worried about it. Helen Beauvais says, does your full three get hot when charging? Mine does, and since I had the exploding note, I'm worried about this. And someone else asked me this question because they had the same issue on my live show, I think it was, and I charge it every night, and I'm generally not holding it in my hand when I'm using it, uh, but I do have it like literally right next to me and I'm watching videos or listening to something, and I have not noticed that it gets hot when charging. Um, so I can't say that it does. Um, maybe try a different charger. I know you don't might not wanna do that and you shouldn't have to do that, but try a different charger and see if that changes the effect. But you're definitely not alone because I've heard this from other people. For me, I haven't noticed that it gets hot though. JLo says, I just got my full three with the Samsung S Pen holder and I hate it. Do you have any other recommendations of cases for the S Pen? I don't, unfortunately. I know some people have done some hacks and things like that so that they can put an S Pen on the back of the case that they're currently using or modify a case that they have. I don't have one. If you guys have a referral for him to use for a case that would have an S Pen on there, you can let him know. But I would think he might have to wait a month, two, three months. I kind of mentioned this before, where you'll see more cases that have S Pen holders. Karen White asked, I see T-Mobile is having problems activating the Z Fold 3. Yes, um, I hear it from a bunch of people. It's happening with activating the phone. It's happening with, I think, people's text messages and the, some of the, like, the subject or something not showing up when they get a text message. So yeah, T-Mobile slash Sprint are having issues, maybe not with everybody, with some folks, with the Z Fold 3 activation. So unfortunately, it seems like it's just T-Mobile, which I guess is a good thing if it's just one carrier rather than everybody. But it is something to know about if you get the phone, there's potentially some issues going on with the activation. And our last question comes from Shamir Squad. Is the Galaxy S21 FE better than the Galaxy S21? Is the S21 FE worth it? When we look at some of the preliminary specs here, you can see that the larger display is on the FE 6.4 or 6.2. You're gonna get some different colors. You get a larger battery on the FE, faster charging on the FE up to 45 watts, true telephoto camera versus the crop zoom on the S21, and the S21 FE is $150 
cheaper. So with that said, I mean, there's some, you know, some things that are about it, they're better. Yeah, so yeah, if you look at both of them, I would personally want a bigger phone. So I'd probably go with the FE no matter what, just because it does have a bigger display. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think either one, I think they're, they're, they're pretty freaking close that most of the things you're gonna use it for are probably feel equally the same in the grand scheme of things. But uh, yeah, I, I guess, Choose the FE, doesn't look like a bad deal. Thanks for watching guys. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below with the word question as your question. I'll answer them in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.